Even though he's struggling a little bit the offensive end, he still does everything that coach wants to be done. He handles things. There's a great post Backing up. down on an undersized Williams in the reverse for Moody is good. Down and knocking down the easier shots. Josh Williams has just been a little bit off today. He's one for six from three-point land as Mooney with the reverse. In his career, he has 22 double-doubles. Seen both coaches switch up their defense. That time the Irish were in a zone. Howard, on the other hand, has not gotten to the line very much. Williams was the only one to shoot two. Blocked by Mooney. Comes up with the rebound. And here's Gibbs in transition. Across to Leshevsky from deep. Finished by Ture as Durham nearly had the block, but a good finish by number one. Moody in transition, he throws it down. The big man running the floor. Durham, oh, the pump fake to the basket. What a hustle play by Fluger. Gives a long three off. Fluger aboard, underneath. Moody with the finish. And we'll see if they can get the ball back down low. Underneath, it's Fluger. The fine from Mooney. If the Irish get Bennett inside with four fouls. Mooney to the basket. And the finish. Bennett's got four, so he doesn't guard. Nine-point lead. It's Mooney going to the basket and laying it in. Well, step aside, the Irish up nine. Into John Mooney, looking to go to work, fires and hits. White is in his team as well right now. Into John Mooney, Irish have to find a way to get him going and they do on the first possession. Jay, that's big. Mooney, hard to the hole, up and in, back to back buckets for John Mooney. Got over 500 career victories. Mooney got his defender in the air. Started, and how about a little bit of up and down? John. The missed three. The Baker at the other end. Beating everyone down the floor. It's Pentas Hub. From three-point territory. For the Knights, this is Mooney. Trying to slip past the defender. Somehow got the ball back and found Leszewski. Score the bucket. Wide open underneath. Dean Goodwin just laying it up and in. And another opportunity for the Irish. Shot clock resetting to 20 after the offensive rebound. But it won't take long for Mooney to put it away. Two. Mooney inside so we're in, in record-breaking territory here. That's him. Counting in a foul. In the paint, Mooney. Well, not a good start for the Bruins. Don't, don't but attempt the shot you just down. faked. You, silly, the, the, when you got him going with the dribble. Double down and dig it out. John Mooney. Who picked his knee early on in that one. Yes, so good to did. see him on the court. And E.J. Williams had it taken away by Fluker. That's something he does so well in transition. Mooney running the floor. Great pass. Really struggling right now. Four for 24 from the field. Love the transition. The ball is moving well for the Mooney Irish. three. Got it. Finally, Alabama A&M gets one to go. One for five now. Fluger beats everyone down the court. Banks it in and one. Great transition. Great look. Again, getting the ball out of the basket on a make. Williams skips to Tucker. No look feet underneath to Sism. Another block for Durham is fifth in transition hub. Great Dumps pass. it off for Mooney for the two-hand flush. Wing to keep the pedal on the metal. Durham's block leading to a bucket on the other end. How about the feed from Hub to Mooney for the flush? That's part of the basketball. It's great entertainment. Great out of bounds play. Oh, Mooney the flush off the feed from Hub. It's one of the wonderful places to watch a college basketball game. As Prentice Hub misses a three, Syracuse struggles to defensive rebound at points, and you get a stuff from Mooney. 
That's Dane Goodwin off the bench. He had a big game against Indiana, and Mooney filling the lane for another stuff. You see Mooney in the middle of the zone here. But one of the things I like, right there, the ball was tipped by Hughes, even though they scored. Mooney flashing, creating for Durham. That was pretty good. Mooney knew exactly where Durham was, and Durham went inside of Hughes. Hughes tired. Mooney somehow clears the rebound. Rush. And Hall doesn't make the three. No, he was rushed because of Hall. Whoa! Oh, he slapped it off to Mooney. This is a great basketball game. That's how you get your revenge. Prentice Hub. Prentice Hub may have just awakened the legend of oh. Joe Girard wow. as Mooney muscles it in. You see the faces of Bayheim and, uh, and the Girard on top. Awesome. Go. Yes, it is. Mooney. Kevin Keats told us in our meeting today the most important thing is pressure on the ball and run Notre Dame off the three-point line, make him drive us. A Mooney block leads to a Gibbs run-out lay-in. Has to be more aggressive with attacking the block and allowing his teammates to know that he's open down low. Mooney gets the Irish on the board first. Second ball handler in Darius Perry, who's a very good defender. And we haven't seen much of Johnson in this one thus far, so I'm not sure that Chris Mack agrees with my assessment. How important those point guard and those guard positions are, as you see great passing, but it's all based upon T.J. Gibbs getting it. Prentice Hub. Great dish to Mooney, who throws it down. Now, let me tell you this. <laughs> Both teams have there you go. struggled to score. There you go. That'll do it. Let him touch it. Big fella delivered. John Mooney's first touch in the second half was highly productive. Takes it right to the shot blocker. James Banks. He had one thing on his mind once he put the ball. Trying to feed Mooney. Working on Banks. Not much room to breathe, but drills right into him off the window and in. The post against James Banks. Can't shoot over him. Show it to him. Bring it back. Up and under with the left hand. That Mike Bray going with a smaller lineup now. John Mooney in at the five. That's where he gets his best offense, Notre Dame. And Mike Bray. Nice move. Muscles his way to the hoop and delivers. Mooney keeps it alive, battling with Banks somehow, some way, puts it in. Doing that, but how about John Mooney? For each team, a combined 30, the second most in a Division One game this year. 31 is the combined high total. And every coach I've ever played for is going, of course you love that shot. <laughs> it looked good coming out of his hand. Three to shoot, it's got to be behind. He's rejected by Mooney, the Irish. Get the ball back. Mooney one on one with soft touch. John Mooney leads the Irish with 16 points. Really more about not being able to get the big stops. Mooney off the fingertips. No, and the tip is there for their first basket in more than four minutes. Durham got switched onto the cell and altered it. Fluger pulls up and connects. Without one of the guards in, Goodwin has to help out Fluger. Mooney left alone, and he saw the opening. John Mooney the stuff. To run out and get an easy one, but here against the pressure, Mooney just takes it and attacks the basket. Now he settles it back out. Trying to get it down low to Mooney. Good look. Help comes. Mooney misses it first. Strong on the offensive glass. Relentless. And he delivers the first contact. If you're going to come over, you got to come stronger than that because he's going right to your chest. Started at Delaware and then came here. He thought he'd be a, a high school teacher and coach, and he's had a much bigger, better career than that. Mooney you picked up a thousand points. And, and, and here's the look. I mean, the rim wide open inside in the, the lane. That was a great look. There's no help from the back. You know, we just had a real solid team. Problem is, we had so many guys, and Digger tried to play them all, and that sometimes hurts you as well. Uh, Mooney, Mooney, Mooney up and under. Well, Mooney, you know, it's the three-point shot. I think you had eight pros on that team, if I'm not mistaken. Mike, during the four years I was here. It'll be his 140th game from the corner. Right. No. Out the pass ahead to Hub, who finds Mooney on the run.
play. Look, again, they all started the same place, but this is just a flat-out sprint up the floor, and he beats all of their bigs for the dunk. Would you call it Mooney freaky fast? Lost it, got it back, and stuffed it in. Back to an eight-point game. At the other end, Mooney answers. What a, what a versatile game. And for Notre Dame, this is an experienced starting five. You have four players in their final year of eligibility. Where he can now shoot it comfortably, and you can be pretty comfortable with it. Mooney into Lashevsky. Trail four. Quick pass, nicely done, Mooney to Dane Goodwin. Javon Durham clutched on one again. Here's Mooney shooting for the lead. And one! Possession, who has the advantage? I'm going Notre Dame of this guy right here, John Mooney, of one of the better players, not just in the ACC, but in the country. Want to pick up that dribble. Practice hub, floats one up to Mooney. Nice little two-man play there by Hobbit Mooney. He made the plays he made against Carolina to win that game. Mooney lays another one in, plus the foul. He's got 12. Best basketball of the season the last four games with Black, Brooks, and Baycott. Brooks has been bothered by an injured eye. Corneal abrasion. 102 is the only losing season for North Carolina since 61-62 when they went 8-9 and nine in Dean Smith's first season as head coach of Chapel Hill. Nifty move by John Mooney. Jimmy will tell us just how good this season has been. You have that X-Factor guy where if he does X in a game, whether it's points or rebounds, the team typically plays well. Uh, they've been on full display tonight with their offensive execution. Well, they're walking around shooting 50% on threes, too. Here's Mooney left all alone inside. Easy bucket, 15 for Mooney. Right here, you can't run the pick and roll any better. Set the pick, roll, ability to execute, and then find open. Here's Beverly all the way to the basket and missed the dunk. And Mooney at the other end will not. Excuse me, attempted dunk. <laughs> and then on <laughs> the other end, Mooney. He's going to have to put it up. He does. <laughs> Off the mark. Although I look at save. Boston College saved it, but unfortunately for the Eagles, right to John Mooney's breadbasket. Trying to drive baseline on Mitchell. Mitchell's there to cut him off. Just look at the physical prowess of Mooney. Right at the shot clock horn. Oh, well, both hands. Jarius Hamilton has it blocked. Here comes Fluger. To Hub. Nice. Finds Mooney cutting and flushes. Get it to Durham. Here comes Thornton. Good outlet. Can Gibbs finish? He does on the reverse. Watch the defensive play first. That offhand getting the steal, and then watch the outlet pass. Perfect leading of TJ Gibbs. <laughs> Mooney right now, the leading scorer for the Irish with six. Driving it and scoring, John Mooney. Goodwin has 10. This is Fluger, drops it up to Mooney for the rim bender. Mooney on the dump off, and he got fouled. Mooney to the free throw line for the Irish. Play for the Irish. Sar really gets caught, and the weak side guard has to dig. To Nick Jogo. Jogo plays about four minutes a game, so he gets some time, and Mooney gets some hand time. Jogo stuck in the corner, five on the shot clock, Notre Dame. Can Hub get some more magic? Yes, he does with the assist to Mooney left block. Going to swing for him. Bradford loves to drive it. Mooney figured that out and shut him down. Pass up to Hammond. He'll slam it in. He rebounds it. He blocks shots too. That's right. And then they get the ball going the other way. Prentice Hub, the three point threat, has some bunnies.